in the history of toe to toe, a few months, this is the first time we've ever had a hybrid showdown. As requested by you guys, the Epic Flash Hybrid performed very well in our review, but now it's time to put it up against something that's very close in the family, the Callaway Apex. How are they gonna perform? We're going to find out. Just by looking at these two in my hands, it's obvious which club targets who. The Apex is definitely the mini-me in this head-to-head. -head. It's so much smaller and I instantly regret not reviewing this on its own. What a fantastic club it is. So with that, it looks like the Apex is trying to be more like an iron where the new Epic Flash is more probably the fairway wood side, a bit more forgiving. So I think with that, we'll see quite big differences in numbers between Apex and Epic Flash. Apex expect more backspin, probably not to go as far as that of the Epic Flash with a lower backspin potentially. But based on looks, I'd be happy to play both, but I'm not going to sit on the fence with this one. The Apex, I had love heart eyes from the very get-go. I think it's a fantastic hybrid, if you want to call it that. It's just beautiful. But comment below, which one do you prefer the look of? So now we move on to tech, the similarities and differences between the two. And we've got a lot of similarities, to be fair, which is quite strange based on the differences in looks. With both of these featuring the internal bars, that is jailbreak technology, a 455 carpenter steel face. The Apex has precision shaping, so it's designed for pure workability, definitely targeting the better player, whilst the Epic Flash features mimmed tungsten weighting to really nail down that CG location within the head. I'm doing this test as if we're picking both of these clubs up directly off the shelf. So Epic Flash, we've got the three hybrid, 18 degree. The Apex is the number three, 20 degree. The Epic Flash hybrid is the Tenzai AV70 Stiff Flex, which is stock shaft, compared to the Catalyst 76.0 in the Apex. So starting us off is the absolutely beautiful Apex. I've got some making up to do. I feel bad that I haven't reviewed this thing. It is gorgeous behind the ball. It's not even a hybrid, really. It's definitely more like a hybrid of a hybrid and a utility. It's like a high utility. For me, the equivalent would probably be a gapper high. That's really the shape that we're working with here. Right, what numbers are we going to get? That was very healy. A lot of feedback. That stopped, that from, that stopped it from going in the public barbecue. Because if that had been in the centre or towards the tail, we'd be in there. Better strike for sure. It couldn't have been any worse. Could still be short there, I reckon. Yeah. That came down very quickly, which is good. It's like an iron. There we go. That was probably the best one yet. Start. Four, four two on the backspin. And there we go. That's coming in nicely as well. Boom. Hold in, hold on, hold on. Not great. Lovely sound. Lovely sound. Hold on. As far as feels concerned, loads of feedback. So we'll move now. We've had the six shots there. We'll save those and we'll move to the Epic Flash Hybrid. Obviously, head shape is pure personal preference, but for me, too big, having had the Apex in my hands. But this is definitely going to be a comfort hug, as I've said in multiple reviews before. It just looks a lot easier to hit, if I'm honest. Yeah, there's a bit more firepower. You just feel it straight away. But less stopping power, it would be below 4,000 RPM. Yes, 3.7. So that was, in a nutshell, further, faster club head speed. It feels a lot, a lot lighter. Um, but it didn't stop as much, which is kind of, I'm not getting ahead of myself, but that's what we, what we said was going to happen. 
Definitely more of a fairway wood sound and feel. Neither of them feel hybrid-like, to be honest. Okay, definitely quicker in the uh, speed speed area. Get, oh, it's got to go. Roll out. That was it, wasn't it? I'm not even sure if there's a hole there. <laughs> you know you suck if you don't even know if there's a hole there. That was hit. Hang on now. That flew the 250. That was one of the better ones. <laughs> oh, struggling. Weird feeling when you don't get it quite right compared to the Apex. Again, you've got that bit of a cushion. It's all right. But for me, the Apex is like, yeah, you definitely hit that bad. Here's a tennis voucher. I don't think we really need to look at the numbers, do we? No. So clubhead speed is exactly the same averaging out. So we're averaging out 111 miles an hour. Not super duper fast, but with that, the ball speed, we've got 157 with Apex, 160 with Epic Flash. And then we look at the spin, which is really the important part between these two clubs. That is a big factor. And to be fair, it's what we'd expected. I mean, I have only hit six shots with each, but I can't imagine seeing much difference to be fair from what we're seeing here. So backspin, we've got almost 4,000 with an Apex, 3,000 with an Epic Flash. And that also tells a story with the side spin. We've got three or five left with the Apex, 17 right with the Epic Flash. So in a nutshell, Apex, we can work it, we can stop it. Epic Flash is point me in that direction and I'll go that direction. If I'm going the wrong direction, it's probably gonna stay in the wrong <laughs> direction. And then obviously to carry distance, so we've got 237 meters with the Apex, 244 with the Epic Flash again. Not huge differences, but it's still going to be there and take into account that two degree difference in head. Still, it wouldn't be that much difference in my opinion. Um, total distance 243, 253 Epic Flash. So more rollout, less spin with the Epic Flash, which is going to be pretty obvious with that. So like I say guys, these are my results and just for a bit of fun on a toe to toe. Don't take these as gospel, you've got to test them yourselves. I've always said this at every single review. Your results are what matters, not mine. Thank you so much for taking the time out and watching this. Comment below what you would like to see in a toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell notification because you will then be informed of the latest videos. We've got some hot stuff coming up. Social media links are below, so make sure you follow us on there. And thank you very much for watching.